All right, guys, we're back. We're going to do the 2013 Forester. It's 12, I think 12. But the same from 9 to 13. We're going to go ahead and swap this guy out. Um, there's one cover on this side, like this, this cover. There's one on this side. We're going to go ahead and yank that guy out. This guy right here. Out of the way. I'm going to pull the rubber. This rubber, rubber out of the way. Ah, oh, look at that, it's cracking. Careful, guys. This is plastic is strong. Aha. Oh, Put that out of the way. Put this guy out of the way. And then just pull on the sides. Ah, this one doesn't like me. Well, that's loose, but... Don't take this guy apart, take this guy apart. So leave that there and you could literally just stick a clip remover and just move the top part because this is a pain in the ass to put back in. I'm going to take my 14 and take this guy out. So it loosens life easier and we can get, we can get this guy out. There's one green one here and there's another green little clip right here. These guys, these little clips. Let's see when one's stuck right here. Just pop this out, put it back in here, and we'll need this for a later time. Pull this out of, out of the way. Out of the way, okay. So then, I'm gonna grab your pick, I'm gonna yank this, this thing at it right here. A little yellow. Yellow clip. Boom. Get that out of the way. We'll come back to that later. There's a 14 right here. Loosen that guy up. There's a 10 right here. Pull that 10 out completely. And then pull this 14 out. And she's got this little Got this little guy right here. It holds this bolt from falling out. So if you if it's tightened all the way, you pull the bolt out, the, the pin will fall out. So that's out of the way. There's a 14 right here by the carpet. You just push the carpet down. You can get to it. It's right here. The passenger side has this little sensor hooked up. It's like right here in the carpet. So if you just pull the carpet back. right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, let, me pull it, let me pull it out of the way. I'll show you guys. It's right here. This guy. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and unplug this guy out of the way. There's your seatbelt. Gone with the wind. Here's our new seatbelt. New seatbelt. See, someone took the bolt out. So we need to rob it from our, from our other, other seat belt. Okie dokie. Now we're live. Put, put that back in. Make sure you just hand tight this guy in. There's a little pin right here. Make sure it sits in that little slot for the 10. Little slot. Boom. 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 Go ahead and tighten that 14 down there. Go ahead and tighten this 10. Do not over tighten this, you will bust it. I've busted it several times. Okay. Then, what you want to do, look at that. This clip fell out. This goes right in here. 
and this goes right into there and it's falling out. Okay, so now you got the belt in there. Make sure that this guy's this guy's straight, okay? Because if this is twisted like this, you're gonna have a problem. Make sure that that's sitting straight like that, and then go to the put that up here and hand hand tighten a few times. Do not just put the gun and zap it in. You will you will ruin the threads, and then you're gonna have a lot of issues. Tighten that, and you can put this cap back on, it just slides. Boom. Now, whoever took this off, took it off the wrong way, lost the bolt. But bolt goes first, then you get this guy, the big, uh, big spacer, and then you get one of these guys to hold it all together so it doesn't fall out. So if you buy them used from us, and you know we just we just zap them out and hit, send them out. If it doesn't have it, use your old bolts. Right here is where it goes. This is a pain in the butt to put in by hand, um, but you have to put everything in by hand first. I've stripped this bottom bolt a few times, just being in a hurry. And let me tell you, it's not fun having to retap it. So make sure you get it in. You get a good, good couple, four or five turns like that. You know, make sure it's in there. And Don't forget to plug this guy in, and then has a little has a little spot for it right here. Okay, and then see, smooth and functional. Now, since you've got all that done, go ahead and roll this carpet back around and. Underneath everything, very simple carpet. This guy sits out like this on the side. Oh, look at that. I forgot to plug this guy in right here. Make sure this yellow thing is sitting back. Put it in like this. And make sure that's in. Make sure you don't put both these guys in. I've seen some guys just go ahead and try to put it in like this and then realize what I do. Make sure that this goes in first. And there's only one way for it to go in. If you want to line it up with these little green, but you know, the, the green clips in the back, you can't see it, but these green clips right here, these guys go into here. The bottom goes in there. You can see from the bottom as you're going. So you can line the, the bottoms up first. Push those in on both sides. And then the top. It's 10 times easier. Make sure these clip in on the edges. Then put the rubber seals back on. that back on. Same on the other side. Pop the rest of the remaining And that's it, fully functional seatbelt.